aside from the basic limit laws, we also have the sum and difference laws. So let f and g be defined for all x over some open interval containing a, except possibly at a. Then we have, suppose we have l and m, real numbers such that the limit of f as x approaches a is l and the limit of g of x as x approaches a is m. So the limit of f plus or minus g is equal to l plus or minus m. Therefore, the limit of the sum is equal to the sum of the limit or the limit of the difference is equal to the difference of the limit. So we'll show or we'll illustrate this through some examples. Consider x plus 7 as x approaches negative 1. So what will we do? We will use the sum law, meaning we will distribute the limit to x plus 7. So we have the limit of x plus the limit of 7 as x approaches negative 1. Now, x is the identity function from the basic limit laws. This, the limit of this as x approaches negative 1 is negative 1. 7 is a constant, so the limit of 7 as x approaches negative 1 is negative 1. So we have negative 1 plus 7 from the basic limit laws, which when simplified is equal to 6. So therefore, the limit of x plus 7 as x approaches negative 1 is 6. How about if we have x minus 6 as x approaches 0? Again, we will distribute the limit. So we will have the limit of x minus the limit of 6 so from the difference law so we get the limit of x as x approaches 0 is 0 and the limit of 6 as x approaches 0 is 0 is 6 from the basic limit law so simplify this we get 0 minus 6 equals negative 6 therefore the limit of x minus 6 as x approaches 0 is negative 6 how about if we have 10 minus x as x approaches negative 2. So we'll have, again, we'll distribute the limit. So we'll have the limit of 10 minus the limit of x. So the limit of 10 is, as x approaches negative 2 is 10. The limit of x as x approaches negative 2 is negative 2. So 10 minus negative 2 is just 10 plus 2, which is equal to 12. Therefore, the limit of 10 minus x as x approaches negative 2 is 12. 